Sorry if you asked before, but I'm super interested in your thoughts on the new Death Knight deck construction mechanics. I think they're cool. Like, I tweeted about it. Um, you know, I feel like the new rune system is like, you know, helps mitigate one of my, you know, concerns that I've always had with deck building in, in Hearthstone, which is that it's very linear. That it's just like, you know, there's, hey, you're playing this class. You get to play these cards in this class. That's it. Whereas, you know, there's, there's interesting trade-offs made with the rune system. I think it's cool. Victory for the Forsaken. Feel super inscription-like? I don't know what that is. Ah, I see you've brought guests. Hallow's End. The most revered of knights. Looks like it's gonna be Big Priest. They probably want my wild spirits from my hand. Maybe they hate my coin. What is it? Oh, my peasant. Okay. What a delicious what is it? Okay. Just a taste. Got him. So next turn can be a Sharon Saber, then we have a collector and a play dead. Rude. Okay. ourselves a sunken saber, we hope. You are so yes, you are. All right, I'm going to coin play dead. Listen and obey. It's pretty great. What a delightful party. Or Okay, I'm gonna play Arfus. Trade the doggy biscuit. Alliterate, sure. Uh, tracking does not shuffle your deck. Kill you. It is finished. You win. All right. <laughs> well, Shadow Essence into two of those guys. Effectively, did not get the job done. I give all the props there to Arfis. He's clearly who won that one for us. Good boy. Um, we will keep the poacher because it's just such a good two. No one though, unfortunately. One, 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 anyone? Nope. Oh well. Yeah, they are sleepy. There's some sleepy pups in there. Caught this one eating party snacks. <laughs> Yeah. For the black ox. Uh, that out. Ooh. 
Well. Alright, next. What a black ox. Black ox, wherever that is. Definitely gonna bear you. Send to the clowns. So even if they coin into Shadow Essence, bear in the way is very valuable. Sure. You're dead. This matchup seems pretty good for me. From what we have seen so far. Yeah, they're decking. Obviously they can do some powerful stuff, but it feels like they don't have great early game answers to a lot of what I'm doing, and a lot of my things actually line up pretty well against even their big stuff. Obviously, like they haven't had like you know turn three shadow essence or anything, but it seems pretty decent. I'm keeping the bear in the Arfis. Or not the bear, the peasant in the Arfis, because I want Arfis. Ah, I see you brought ah, I see you brought guests. What is it? Okay. Well, they can just punch this, but that means that they can't like moonlit guidance for something. Or play uh, Jerry Rig, so. So worth throwing into the possible punch. Mm -hmm. oh. this one eating party snacks. I get different decks to work climbing since hitting 50. Yeah, I like switched over to try and play my like a move deck, which I've been having a lot of fun with. I don't have the cards for Carnage, unfortunately. One of the things that, that I wish I had anything to do this turn. Uh, spit that out. I should have a Kodo Bane in my deck, actually. Draw me play dead too. My wild spirits, my doggy biscuits. When I get back into Hearthstone, the meta has changed so much over the last years. What would you recommend to do? I mean, they have um, you know you have a ton of free stuff that you can play with right now if you if you come because there's both. You, you get like a returning player deck. You also get all of the core set and currently Knights of the Frozen Throne to play with for free. You have like, you know, a lot that you uh, will be able to play with, you know, to get a hang of things. All right. So this gets me my saber guaranteed. We can K9 to turn the saber to the top and play dead it. Uh huh. Isn't this just Old Hunter with Rexar instead of Tavish? Well, it has Rexar, it also has Play Dead, and it has Arphis. And it has an Azumat, because you can use that with Play Dead to wipe your opponent's board. So it does have, you know, some some variation, but it, it also does sort of stick to the core of what is powerful. Ride's Fury. Kind of rude. Yup. <laughs> is no excuse for bad manners. Hmm. 
Okay. Rude. My Hydralodon, friend. Well... <sighs> I'm doing this like this, in case we hit like Azumat. We did hit Azumat. Okay. Um. Well, they have Hydralodon. The card should be a Cyrus card. I, mean, I, I don't know that like that many decks would be that different. I think that games would play differently, but I think that a lot of it, like Cyrus mostly in a lot of decks as like you know a you know thing that can end the game, not necessarily like the th only thing the deck is built to do. I think that control strategies would likely be more powerful in general. Oh, okay. Hit this, play dead Azumat, clear those, play maybe Arphas. This kills both your guys, lets me attack with my full board. Yeah. We have this innervate so you could potentially also like King Crush and Hero Power in the same turn if there's no taunt. They could spreading plague it again. Okay. I wanna kill these first, yeah. Okay. The bear. Alright, you're dead. It's cooler to kill them this way, though. I can King Crush you, or I can kill you with my Arphas card! Haha! <laughs> but look at that! Azuma plus Play Dead to clear their taunt and get them. That is one of the things that we were trying to do with this deck, and it worked! Let's go.